Hello, my name is Troidar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Roman house in Minecraft. No, not those three. That one right there. Let's get started. So if you remember from the previous houses, in the Roman house series, we started with a type one here, just a very simple and humble house. For the type two, we added a little portico, a little porch onto the side. Right there for the type three, of course, we took that and added a wing onto it still, and for the type four, as you might suspect, we are adding two wings to give ourselves a little H-shaped house. Right here. So let's just take a look around the exterior. As you can see, we've got a pleasing symmetrical facade and everything, except of course for the chimney. We swing around here. We can see that the wings we're adding on this house are gonna be larger than the one wing we put on that first house there. We do have a nice little back porch area though. Just a little place for you to hang out and relax. You can set up perhaps a table and chairs and have yourself some flowers around there. It'd be a really nice spot, I think. And of course, uh, this wing over here is gonna be just the same as the other one. Uh, so let's take a look inside. See if you want to build one of these. Uh, so on the interior, of course, we have the main room. And we have our fireplace over here, uh, ready for you to put a campfire there where the torch is. And our main room, of course, we have uh, side wings here. A good sized room here. And a larger sized room back here. Perhaps if you want to have uh, have a bedroom in here and you've got enough space, perhaps a workshop and a library and a little potion lab and whatever else you think you might want to put in your house. Of course, you do have all the attic space as well if you want to for your storage and whatnot. We do have several generous rooms up here as well above the other two rooms. So I guess that's what, uh, 10 rooms in this house in total? We're only on type four, we have a few more to go. So it's gonna be uh, quite a few houses that you will be able to build. They only get bigger and more complex as we go through the series. Uh, but I think in the next uh, portions, we're probably gonna start going up instead of going out because uh, the eight shape house is about the most house we can get out of this particular type, unless we wanna perhaps make a, an A shaped house, which we could do. Uh, before we begin the, the tutorial, let's uh, just take a quick look at uh, the materials list. The first thing you will need for that is, of course, the like and subscribe button, if you if you please. And uh, apart from that, you will need uh, all these various materials I'm listing here. I'm not going to laboriously read them out. I'm just going to go over the list here. And you can pause and uh, and write down whatever you need. This so will also be available in the world download, of course, which uh, is in the video description for both Java and Bedrock versions. Uh, the materials list isn't too bad, though. You've got uh, quite a lot of materials, but not, um, that is, uh, quite a variety of materials, but not a whole bunch of materials. I think uh, about the worst thing you'll have together is going to be all the cobblestone, as usual. There's only a little over 2,000 blocks of that. Uh, for the dimensions of the building, you probably want to know that before we start. Uh, so the red square here is going to be a 43 by 38. It's going to be 23 blocks tall down here from the, the cornerstone all the way up there to the chimney top. Uh, so the first thing you might want to mark out is going to be a square of 43 by 38. And uh, that is going to be this uh, red uh, rectangle here. Uh, and you can see, of course, the house is going to fit just inside that. Uh, but uh, for the house, let's uh, just start over here. As you can see, it's uh, set back a couple of blocks from the edge here. And then we want to place, of course, the chiseled stone bricks and the tuff behind that. And, of course, uh, the stairs and everything, just like so here to get the uh, foundation set out right. Uh, I will count out some of this. I'll count it out with um, the carpet here. 
Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then turn and go for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a long run of 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, before we get uh, more counting, though, let's. Um, uh, these are bases to the windows right here. So build those. Build another one here. And right here at the front, you can see we have a bit of a tough. Of course, this is where our uh, front porch is going to be. So those just come out uh, four blocks right there. And then you've got tough and cobblestone there. And then, of course, from this point onwards, everything gets to be symmetrical. In other words, if we, uh, if we take a center line and draw it down our house, uh, we can split the building in twain, except for the fireplace. Most of the elements of the house are going to be symmetrical, though. In other words, what we build on this side of the line, we just want to mirror on that side of the line, right there. Uh, that's going to be true for the wings, especially. It's only not true when we have to, to deal with um, the uh, chimney. And then we have to do a long run over here from this corner of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then a long run of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then from there just uh, connect it with tough back to where we started. Uh, so let me go back over here and we'll take a closer look at the, the window foundations. We need to spend some extra time on the foundation, of course. You know, it's it's very foundational, so we have to get it correct. Just like so, uh, details for the window bases here. One window base back here. And we've got these little crosses of tuff because this is where we're going to be putting uh, the bases for the columns at the back. We've got four of those and then a couple of grass blocks with some trap doors around them. Of course, this is uh, for our potted plants. We're going to have six of those for the double ferns. You can put some flowers there, though, if you want to. It doesn't have to be the ferns. And I'll leave three blocks of space in the middle and then repeat the whole thing again. As you can see, the porch is a very symmetrical with the window bases and everything. And for the doorway entrance here. And of course, for the wing, like I said, with the symmetry part, just place all the windows in the same places that you did over there and just do it on this side here. Now let's take a good top down view of this section here. And let's move on to the next phase. Whereupon you can see we're placing the floors. Our fine mosaic floors. And of course, if we were a true Roman house, we wouldn't have the fireplace. We would have hypocost. Underfloor heating system, uh, but you can just imagine this house was renovated some years after that. So it's been used for quite a long time. So they added a fireplace. Um, over here, you can uh, just follow the patterns that you already placed down, all this laborious counting we did for the stone bricks, and over here for the window frames. More chiseled stone bricks and upside down stairs. Same here again. And uh, stone brick stairs here. And cobblestone stairs in the middle. Uh, for the pattern of the tutorial, we're going to take a look at the exterior first, and then we'll double back and take a look at the interior sections. So as we go, do feel free to just pause and replicate. What you see on your screen is designed to be a very visual tutorial. 
but of course, if that's not enough, the download is always provided also if you just want to take it and put it in Lightmatic or something like that. Or if you just need to come here and take a look at it for yourself. If the video instruction is not clear enough, Uh, round back here on all the cobblestone, on, on all the, the tuff, the crosses of tuff, you want to put down the, sto uh, the stone brick stairs, just like so, four on each side, for all four of those. And over here for the window frames, same deal. And then once we get uh, past the center line here, which goes through the house, you just need to mirror everything again. just like you did previously. All right, so on the interior here, we've got uh, a little bit of uh, oak tree trunk on its side here. For our threshold, we have another one directly across from that. And in between that, you can see we have this pattern of, I believe this is blue and black uh, glazed terracotta, uh, which is, uh, th these are my two favorite patterns of glazed terracotta to mix together. As you can see, they're arranged in no particular order. Just uh, throw them down however you please. If you want to, you can go to the extra effort of trying to make patterns with the glazed terracotta. Uh, the, that's an option as well. And you can also use the, uh, the other uh, kinds of glazed terracotta, like gray and green work well together. Uh, but you can, I think you can see the, uh, the counting for this. Uh, we have some more uh, tree trunks on their sides here for where the thresholds for the doorways go. Three blocks of uh, cobbled deep slate here for our fireplace, and then more tree trunks here uh, for the double doors. And of course, behind that, we just have um, this section here made out of stone bricks. It's pretty much uh, two blocks thick for the walls and everything. It's three blocks thick here in the middle, and then this is going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be a four by seven right there for that. And on the interior here, you can see we have our first little room that I showed you, just like so. And then the, then the larger back room. And if I get a little altitude, you can see that the wings are indeed symmetrical. Uh, so whatever you did uh, for the floors on the left, do the same for the ones on the right. Uh, you can see, however, that we do have a little bit more room over here because we are not dealing with the fireplace. See, our fireplace took up four blocks of extra room, but we've got uh, now three blocks more of space here, so we just want to fill that in with a bit more floor. All right. And next phase. Uh, so let's start over here. Uh, let's start at the corner, I think, just to be consistent on all the phases and everything. Uh, so, we've got a bit of cobblestone here and diorite. And uh, more, more uh, cobblestone and diorite. I think you, you know what that is, so I will leave that to you. We've got two little flower pots here by the door with the trap doors and everything around the grass blocks. A block of diorite here for the pillars. Uh, for, for all of these pillars, the ones here and the four back there, you can go ahead and extend this up to a total of six diorite blocks like we saw when we when we did the tour and everything six diorite blocks and then you just want to do the exteriors just the same on both sides now you can see where to place the diorite and everything because of how we've been placing the lower most portions of the window casements and place uh, just diorite behind that just like so you can go ahead and put in your double ferns, your double tall ferns back here if you want to. Along with your columns, you can go ahead and extend those up to six blocks. And then just wrap the cobble and the die right around here. Leave a little gap here for the window frame. No, for, I mean for, for the door frame, I mean. Like so. Some oak tree trunks behind that. We'll take a look at the interior in a moment. As I said, we're going we're gonna to do the exterior first, and then we'll take a look at the interior. So just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to swing around here. And I'll get us back to our starting point, and then we'll go inside the main door and take a look at everything from the inside. Of course, we have our access ladder 
right here. The house wasn't really big enough to put a full-size staircase into. I mean, maybe, maybe I could have fit one in over there somewhere if I wanted to. Uh, but it was easier to put in a ladder. Uh, for our uh, hearth, our fireplace, we've got a bit of cobbled deep slate, uh, two cobblestone walls, and a bit, uh, and just a cobblestone slab there. And where the torch is, go ahead and put in a campfire or two back here. That's not in the materials list, but, you know, I assume that you are going to do that, so I didn't really uh, mention it expressly. Uh, for the rooms, you can see, uh, except for the windows right here, for the windows you want to have the tree trunks on their sides, but otherwise you want to place the oak tree trunks vertically for the baseboard all around the room. Just like so, for the large room, back here as well as for the small room just like so and then back over here for the rooms on the other wing alright let's uh, go on to the next phase Right here, and let's start at the same portion. Uh, so over here you can see uh, we are alternating, if you remember from the tour, we are alternating uh, layers of stone brick and layers of cobble. So every time we do a layer of cobble, we're going to have a layer of stone brick on top of that. And on top of this, of course, we're going to have another layer of cobble. Uh, not where the windows are, though. For the windows, you can see we've got a full block of... Uh, Light blue stained glass, my, my favorite color, stained glass, with the panes here. Uh, and this is going to be how this is, this is going to work. Every time we have a block and a pane, to get more texture, we're going to have a full block on top of that. And then here where the carpet is, is where we're going to have a pane. Just like so. That lets us get a, just a little bit more uh, texture and make our windows look a little bit more interesting. So I will swing around here and leave you to place the details of the, the glass and everything. Just like so, you can go ahead and put in your front door if you want to. Uh, dark oak for the doors, of course, the best kind of door, dark oak. Well, I think anyway. Spruce is also quite nice, but you know, for something a little bit more classy, you, you always want to go with dark oak. And of course, uh, Roman buildings, extra, extra classy. So we have to go with that. Uh, for the interior, though, I did fit these out with oak, but if you want to retrofit these with dark oak, or perhaps your, your favorite type of wood, uh, do feel free to make substitutions on that. It's just for the purpose of the tutorial, I try and use the cheaper materials. So it's not too much of a burden on you if you want to build uh, all uh, four or five or however, however many types of houses we're going to have. When it's all said and done, you can have yourself a little Roman neighborhood out of all these things. I think I mentioned before, the, the end of this series is going to be uh, when I, um, I do a full tutorial on my own base. Which, of course, we're going to be taking off the, the Atheon SMP server and slicing it up and everything. Now, that's going to be fun. And, of course, once we get uh, past, past the door on the other side here, we just want to pan all the way around. And build everything again symmetrically like we already did previously. And that will bring us back here upon which we're going to go inside. So you can see for the wall uh, detailing we're just using uh, uh, oak wood planks. Uh, you can try different materials. Some of my favorite materials to use are the, uh, the crimson stems, I think. In here, in place of the planks. So we'll start in the main room and we'll pan around so you can see all the details. Got a little slab here to seal off our fireplace. Of course, the, the double doors here. Door to the back porch and of course more, more double doors over here. Alright, let's uh, take a look in the small room now. Our little entrance hallway. And then around the room here. Uh, 
All right, let's go into the bigger room. Take a good look around. As you can see, everything is done with repeating patterns. So once you get a lot of the foundational stuff done, you could probably skip ahead a little bit as you see where I'm going with some of this stuff. Uh, and the details over here for the entrances on the, the uh, other rooms. Otherwise, everything else is built just the same between the, the uh, wings of the house. Like so, and we will move on to the next phase. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy phase, actually. A lot of this is going to be very re uh, repetitive. Rep rep repetitive. Yeah. Let's get the right uh, emphasis on this level. Um, so over here, we start at the same point with the, uh, the windows and everything. You can see here we're alternating the glass, just like I said. If you don't like this, you can just put in straight panes or straight blocks of glass. Uh, if you want to get extra fancy, you can go with like multicolored stained glass, but I think that might be a little bit too fancy. That might be something we want to reserve for a medieval uh, church build or something like that. It's more appropriate for the stained glass. Of course, Romans did have window glass, but I don't think they had uh, they didn't have stained glass yet. That wouldn't come around until uh. Uh, quite a while later. Uh, over here, details. We can go ahead and plant our ferns here. Of course, I've got a little sign over the doorway here before you can uh, you can write in. You know, this is this, uh, so and so lives here. If you want to let everyone know, uh, let everyone know whose base this is. Because I know you always hate uh, uh, finding someone's base, and they, they didn't put their name anywhere on the doorway, so, you, so you, you don't know who lives there. So you just kind of wander around the house, opening all the chests, snooping around and everything, trying to figure out who lives there. Of course, then, then they come back and catch you snooping through their, their chest, and, then they, and, well, you know, while, while you might then know who lives there, they might be very upset with you, so... It's always best to have a sign. All right, once we get to this point here, it's just the same. Going all the way around the house again on the exterior. And over here for the interior, except for a few details of the doorways, we're just extending a lot of logs up and over the doors, just like so. Uh, over here, over our uh, fireplace, we just have a little mantle of upside-down stairs here. And then let's, uh, let's go in here and take a look at this room. Just a real quick glance. There's not, it's not too complicated. You're just extending all the tree trunks up and the oak uh, planks. Just like so, but of course we are going up only one block at a time. So while it does make the videos longer, pe people said that they really need the extra de the de um, blah, 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 blah. People said that they really need the extra detail. So I, I'm going to all the effort and everything of doing it the long way, instead of skipping along two blocks at a time. Uh, and of course we just have uh, these little entrances over here. Otherwise, everything else is just the same. All right, so let's go on to the next phase, which is going to be more of the same, really. And you can see we're back to back to stone bricks again here. Of course, the alternating layers I talked about, the alternating glass blocks I talked about and everything. Let's extend those straight up along here. Uh, a little detail here for the doorway. Just like so. And then back over here for the wings. Of course, as you can see, our house has a variable sizes of windows. We have either three block wide or two block wide windows, depending on how much interior space we have to make use of. 
And then over here, everything is going to be going to be just the same, like so. Uh, let's take a look on the inside now. Uh, so it's going to be more of the same, uh, except over here, over the doorways, of course, we're using planks again. Just like so. I've got a little trap door here to hide the stone for the chimney. Of course, that could easily be wood or, or you know. Uh, but but I like to keep it, you know, it's, it needs to be a functional chimney. So it's got to be all stone lined and everything. So we just hide the exterior detail with the trap door. Very handy, the wooden, the wooden trap door. Uh, and in here, I think everything is going to be just the same. You want to extend all that straight up. I don't see any differences in between these sections from the previous phase. Uh, next phase here, I think this is going to be um, more of the same, actually. But let, let's take a look at it. Not too much to say, though, so I'm just going to swing around here and take a good look at it. All right, here over the doorway, you can see we're just alternating the tree trunks and everything, and it's going to be exactly the same on the other wing and all that, too. So let's just uh, start on the inside. Here, um, you know, it's pretty much, pretty much more of the same. No surprises there. No surprises in here either. All that's just extending straight up. I think that's about to stop, though, in the next phase. Uh, but, yeah, we had a couple of easy phases to go. Well, you know, easy for me. A lot of building for you, though. But just take it slow and have fun with what you're doing. I don't think you'll have any difficulty. Well, not until we get to the roof, anyway. It's going to be a little difficult. Uh, so here, I'll start at our corner. Uh, we're finishing off our window frames. No more glass. We've got Darite up here and then upside down stairs right there and over the doorway as well. We want to do all the window details the same for the two and the three uh, windows. Here over the doorway, and of course everything on the exterior will be just the same. So let's go on the interior now. So as you can see, what we're doing here is we're laying, um, uh, it, it's not the molding yet, but it's, it's getting there. So it's the top of the wall, and we want to have uh, tree trunks on their sides. Just laying all around here, like so, just all around the room. Same detailing for the small rooms. And for the larger rooms, which would be probably better if I had to show you this from the top. And then for the small rooms over here, same detailing. Just like so. And we'll move on to the next phase. So over here, we've got uh, some little lintels. Uh, detailing for upside down uh, stone bricks there. See over all the windows, just the same. Uh, for our columns, though, we are uh, up to the six block level, so we are now putting, of course, our upside down uh, stone brick. Well, first cobblestone and then stone brick stairs to represent the acanthus leaves for our Corinthian capitals. Not a good Roman build unless we haven't, uh, unless we've uh, used copious amounts of Corinthian capitals on it. 
Although sometimes the Romans would use other orders, the, uh, uh, the Corinthian was, of course, the most heavily used. It's a, a when in doubt, use Corinthian. I believe probably be their motto. Or whatever the equivalent phrase in Latin would be. Uh, if I knew enough Latin, I would insert that here for, for fun, but I don't, so... Uh, but if you made it this far in the tutorial and, and you know some Latin, do feel free to, to comment that below. So maybe I, maybe I can make use of it in future house tutorials. That'd be fun. Uh, and once we get to this point over here, all the exterior detailing is the same. Wrapping all the way, all the way back around. Uh, all right, so let's go in the house. Uh, so you can see we're just adding now some some crown molding with upside down uh, oak stairs, every place except for the ladder, all the way around the room, like so. All the way around the rooms here, over there, our little entrance corridor there. Same back here. Big rectangle, like so. And uh, it is a little bit different than these rooms here, though. Right there. Just, just wrap it all the way around. Right there. And this room also. And fill in everything else with cobblestone, and that'll be good enough. Uh, so back here, back to stone bricks again. And we've got uh, little two blocks of diorite, two or three behind the detailing here, where we have just these stone brick half slabs making these little hemispheric details. Uh, for the three block ones though, we're using uh, the uh, triangular pediments instead of the, the rounded one. So we've got a mix of those. We've got the rounded ones for the two block windows and the, the uh, triangular ones for wherever it's a three, like here of the doorway. First we got uh, the stairs here. To finish off the acanthus leaves for our Corinthian capitals, well, you know, Minecraft. This is as good of, a, of an acanthus leaf as we can possibly get, so. It'll have to do. And, of course, all the window patterning is the same, so you can go around, and you may be ahead of me in building that already. Just like so for every detailing for the windows and the co four columns at the back and the windows and door here for the back porch. And I'll swing around back here. And then we need to go, well, well, first let's take a look from the top down. So as you can see, we're obviously putting a ceiling on all of our rooms. Uh, this may be better to show you from the top down first. So you can see the patterning we have for the tree trunks. And in between those, uh, these aren't oak full blocks. These are going to be oak half slabs, or whichever kind of half slab you want to use. Maybe you want to use um, uh, perhaps some, um, some what, some waxed cut copper. Some of those might, might look quite nice if uh, Minecraft will let you do that. And a slight, slightly different detailing over here for the uh, side room. So let's take a last look at the interior of these rooms here. You can see the detailing we have up here with the coffered ceiling and everything. Same for our main room, just a little hole up there for ladder access. And then here for these rooms, although the, the spacing is a little bit off just because of how it worked out. Take a look at these rooms. It's going to be just a little bit different here. And this last room here.
All right, uh, on to the next phase. Uh, pretty easy phase. A uh, big ring of tough all the way around the building. Every place you've been placing the cobble and the stone bricks, you now want to go around and place tough. We want to have a big, uh, big rectangle of tough right here. It comes out three blocks, go all the way across, and then back three right there for uh, the entablature detail of our porch. And use a uh, tough here. Just, you know, all the way around, just like you see. Continue it uh, all the way across here. Leave a little, uh, what's that going to be? Five, five block gap there. And then just wrap it all the way around the interior of the porch here. And then back along the side to, to where we started. Uh, so for the interior, as you can see, we're doing more baseboards again with the oak tree trunks, just like so. Of course, our, our access ladder comes up here from our main room. And uh, I think it'd be just better if I show you these from the top down. You can see, um, just wrap your tuff around and then fill in the, the portions in the middle. With This doesn't have to be tough on the interior. You could just make a cobble if you're running short of tuff. Because you probably have enough cobble. Most people do. Just like so. For our attic storage rooms. And the two rooms for this wing here. Alright. And we'll go on to the next phase here. Pretty easy phase, actually. Uh, I don't think you have to have have to go around and explain a lot. We can just look at this. Uh, so every place you place tough in the previous phase, go around and place diorite directly on top of it, just like you see done here. And then for the rooms, every place that we placed the uh, tree trunks, uh, just stack up wood planks on top of that. And you can fill in the corners, as you can see here, with the, the cobblestone. It's not too bad. And lower down here. You can also go ahead and place uh, place your double doors and everything here. We got our fireplace, uh, our fireplace, our chimney coming up from below, and we just got uh, extra cobble filling in the wall here. I probably could have optimized this more and squished uh, squished that down uh, to just be um, uh, wood planks. Uh, but I, I didn't do that. It's just kind of an artifact of how I made the building. Because I copied this symmetrically, and this was already cut out for the fireplace. I said the, for the chimney, so I just kind of left it there. Uh, so, uh, next phase, uh, next several phases, we are now going to start the, um, the um, well, the, the can be somewhat difficult task of making the roof. Uh, so, but to finish off, we want to place a cornice of upside down uh, stone brick stairs here and add this slab here for the raking cornice just sticks out one little block just like so over here another another raking cornice wrap your stone brick stairs around here for the front porch another another raking cornice block here and there and of course here and here and then extend your upside down stairs all the way to the back where of course we got a couple more slabs here on the corners and oh yeah okay that's right and we have one sticking out here but then we have our corners continue for a little bit right here where of course we have a diorite blocks so remember we have a little arch here over our back porch just like so and on the interior just wrap them all the way around Like that there. And then just continue the entire phase around. Just like you did for the other wing, you want to do identically for this wing here. And then we can start uh, start uh, kind of here in this room. So we've got a couple of slabs here sticking out. Of course, this is for uh, uh, the beginnings of our roof rafters. Uh, the rest of this is just going to be um, uh, wood planks. Uh, but here and there, we're going to have these little roof rafters blocks sticking out. Here and there. 
you know, in, in the corners and everything. Uh, it's not critical for you to add these, though, if you don't want to have them. Just kind of one of those uh, extra, extra little details I like to include in my buildings. Makes it look just a little bit more structurally authentic. I always find buildings to be uh, be, be more to be more satisfying when they look like that they could actually stand up. And then over here for the attic rooms for the wing on this side and for the one over over here. All right, uh, next phase here. Uh, I know it looks kind of kind of difficult, but we'll just uh, we'll take it slow uh, because this is where we're starting our roof and our roof tiles. Of course, our roof tiles are done with the red nether brick and the uh, deep slate tiles, like you see done here. There's no real uh, this just defies explanation, so I'm just gonna have to show it to you. And very slowly and with a lot of pausing, you should be able to to figure it out. On the side here, you can see we have just another another slab right here, and then a full block, and then a slab here. Then behind this, we have a series of full blocks of cobble and slabs, and die right behind that. And then you just uh, mirror that on this one over here, and then continue this back until you get here and place the you know the the, the cobble and the slabs and the red the brick like you see done here I'm just going to paint around real slow Right here, of course, uh, this this uh, front pediment is going to be the same as uh, the one you already built. So you can use the other one as a bit of a guide to help you reconstruct these. The first one's going to be the hardest, but then afterwards you'll get the hang of it, and it won't be so bad. Over here for the roof tiles, you can see we're going to have a, a repeating pattern of these. Once we get a couple more slices up, you can see what we're going to be doing with the roof tiles more exactly. I know it looks like a jumbled mess at this phase here, but it would, trust me, we, we, do have, we do have a method to our particular brand of madness. A couple of full blocks of uh, deep slate tile here. I don't know if I included that in the, the list of materials or not. If if I didn't, you're going to need four of those, though. Or either side of that. Here for our little archway, we're going to have three blocks of dye right there to cap it off in the next phase, though. Just like so. Once we get all the way around this, we'll take a look at the interior. Uh, once you get the, the basic roof tiling set in, in place, uh, you will see how to do things a lot more clearly for the rest of it. And then just along the side here, just the same as you did on uh, that wing over there. All right, so it's uh, starting here. So as you can see, we've got uh, we've got some oak beams right here, and some uh, some uh, oak slabs here for the rafters and everything. Just like so, you can use the slabs you previously placed as a guide for this. Might be better to show you this from below. To start with, and then we'll take a look at it uh, from above. Take a look at this from above first. And then we'll drop down in here and take a look at it from below.
Of course, roofing things over the one of the more difficult things to do in Minecraft. Building the uh, the walls of the house was easy. Uh, putting the roof on it is going to require a little bit more skill. All right, let's take a look at uh, these other two rooms, at least the entrance of these rooms. Right here, and, uh, and then this one here. And let's take a look at those from above. And then we'll move on to the next phase. We're almost getting ready to cap off our roof. We only got a couple of more uh, phases to go. Uh, so here, let's start over here at the, the same place we have been starting. So you can see what we're doing here is we're, we have a checkerboard pattern that we're doing with the uh, full blocks and the half slabs right here. Uh, but we're, of course, shifting them up uh, as we go. Of course, that's going to give us our, our uh, the pitch of our roof. It's uh, going up for every two blocks it goes over, it's going up for, for a half slab. Just like so. A bunch of full blocks and half slabs here. And then you can see the patterns, of course, here better for the roof tiling and everything. It's just, it's just a very simple repeating pattern. You can use the patterns we set down already in the last phase to help you build these with uh, a much more ease, I think. And of course, for my roofs, to make them more interesting, I don't just make them um, with the, the full blocks. I like to add these little cobblestone ribs to help break the roofs up into more, um, more, mo more modular sections. I think, it, I think it makes the roof lines more interesting to look at when you're flying over them with your elytra. Uh, so that's why I do that. Uh, detailing here, or well, I guess you're going to need a, a full block there. And then here for our little archway. And then back here, even more roof tiles. It's not going to be too bad once you get going, though. It should be pretty intuitive. And there we are at the front. So let's take a look now here at our main attic. It's the only portion that's still open. From above, and you can see here, of course, we're just extending up the same pattern with the oak beams and the, the oak uh, slabs and everything. Uh, we're also going to finish off these little rooms here, you can see. Just continue everything up to where it meets in the middle. Uh, let's take our last look at these little side rooms. And our one last, last side room here. All right. Next phase, we can no longer start at the corner here. We have to start, uh, we have to start here. 
So you can see it's just a repeating pattern. It's going up, meeting at the middle in a, in a pleasing uh, Roman triangle shape. Of course, we filled up, we filled off our, our tympanum there in the middle and everything with the diorite. And uh, it's to the point now where I think it'd be better if I just show you this from above. Because all the roof tiles are now meeting at the top here. You can see the detailing for the cobblestone ribbing, how it's either going straight or in a 45 degree diagonal. Just like so. Detailing here for over the porch. Over here for the wings. And a little bit more detail back here for this archway. It's the same on both sides. Uh, detail here for the middle. And of course, uh, the two wings. Uh, the roof lines are symmetrical on those. Uh, let me uh, let me break a break a block here, and this will be the completed attic space for our uh, tenth and final room. Right there, so that will be all sealed up there. Let's let's go on to the next phase here. Where, of course, as you can see, everything is just meeting at a crest at the top, a little ridge line with uh, cobblestone half slabs. Right here going across. We're going to have just a little bit more roof here in the middle to build, though. Uh, but otherwise, this extends straight across to the back here. It's the same on both wings. Uh, here at the back, a little detail, though, for our little archway. Uh, and then a couple blocks of dye right here. And then some detailing in, in the middle here. Let's, let's go over that real good. Take a look at the whole thing. Almost done with it. And uh, this next phase over here, we are going to be indeed done with the roof. You can see up here, we just got this little ridge line across the the top, the very top of the roof to do right here. Same on both sides. Uh, we've got a little bit of dye right here at the back, right here. And a little diorite decorative finial at the front here. Uh, and for the next phases of this, uh, we want to finish off the little diorite finial back here. And all we have to do left to do is to extend up our chimney with, of course, uh, cobble and then diorite. And then put uh, a cornice of upside down stone brick stairs all the way around on that. And then put one layer and a second layer of tuff. And if you want to, I would suggest um, I would suggest filling, filling that in with cobble and placing some campfires down there. So you can get some pleasing smoke coming out of your chimney. And uh, once you have done that, you're, you're type 4. Roman house will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the Type 4 house and the Roman house series in general. Remember, everything is available for download in the video description. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.